Hi everyone and thank you for being here and thank you for the opportunity to present our paper in this very brief talk. I'll try my best to keep it very brief. I'll present our top two submissions to the first Touche shared task. Um, I will start by well, reproviding the context to set the stage. So the first shared task had us retrieve relevant arguments from a closed corpus of nearly 400,000 arguments. The evaluation itself was Trek-like and therefore assessed against a set of 50 topics that consist of full sentences in, in the interrogative mood and you'll understand later on why I mentioned this very odd detail. So it's things like, is climate change real? Should humans drink cow milk? Things like that. Um, as for the results, ours are highlighted in blue, with the baseline being highlighted in red and other close participants in gray. Our winning GPT-2 based approach uh, outperforms the baseline by nearly 7% and our second best bird based approach manages to tie the baseline in terms of statistical relevance. I, I would venture to say that it's perfect tie. Uh, so I will only be pre presenting these two approaches in this talk and even then just providing a, a, a high level view of the approaches, sparing you the implementation um, minutiae as it, as it were. So let me first start with what our two approaches have in common. They both perform query expansion using vanilla transform models that have not been pre-trained or fine-tuned on the corpus. They, the, the corpus itself is, hasn't been pre-processed in any way, so no fancy NLP, no mining of argumentation relevant facets of quality. Uh, so just indexing the, 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 the raw corpus. As for retrieval itself, as Lucas mentioned in the previous slide, the, 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 a pilot study by Fotas et al. showed that Thierry Clé smoothing um, in the context of query likelihood performs quite well. So that's what we use as a baseline. But the most important part of this slide and the thing to keep in mind when you like, judge the, the, the scores that we achieve is that the original queries are discarded. And what, what that allows us to do is gauge the merit of, of the expansion on its own. So what, 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 what knowledge one can glean is, I have a query, I augment it, and I throw the query. Is that augmentation good enough? Does it perform better than the baseline, or at least as good? And if the results show anything, at least within the context of this task, is that they do achieve that quite well, I might add. So let me start by presenting our first approach, namely that of using a transformer decoder trained on language modeling. So it's not specifically GPT-2, it's not anything special about GPT-2, it's just that GPT-2 is the representation, the, 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 the speaking candidate for these models, and that's what we use. And the, the approach is to try and hallucinate documents, as it were, that read as though they might have come from the ergsme corpus. And the, the goal is not to generate perfect English text. The goal is to generate text that's good enough, uh, as good as a random user debating on an internet portal. And the way we do that is that we augment the original query with some context, six different seeds, uh, to be specific. And for every one of these seeds, so you'll see these positive prompts, these negative prompts, and these neutral prompts, we're trying to um, occupy the, 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 the weight landscape in a way that we generate as many relevant documents, at least promisingly relevant documents as possible. And for every one of these six seeds, we generate uh, four different hallucinated documents, and we, we throw away the query, and we just query the corpus using the generated hallucinations. A few examples you can see here. I will spare you my narrative prowess and just leave those on the screen for you to just gain an understanding of what sort of things we're using and how good GPT-2 turns out to be at um, generating text that fits our purpose. Right, that should be enough. I can also provide the the generation files itself if you'd like to take a look, if you're curious. Um, second approach, the one that tied 
with the baseline is one that uses query expansion with BERT. And in this case, it doesn't have to be BERT. It can be any transformer encoder that was pre-trained, among others, on mask language modeling. And in this case, we use BERT to generate a list of thematically relevant keywords. And it's this list that we substitute for the original query and try to see whether we can use this list to, to do as at least as good as well as the, as the query itself. And to do that, remember that BERT itself is a transformer encoder, so it's not causal in a way because every token in the sentence can attend to every other token. So you can't use it to generate a false sentence by auto-regressing on its input and just refeeding it its, its inputs. But we, what you can do is ask it to fill in the blank and we generate a list of contextual seeds. So, and by the way, the, the, the phrasing of those seeds is the only place where we inject any sort of argumentation awareness into the task. So it's just this implicit context that tells the models that, okay, this is, seems to be about argumentation. Let me just invent things about that. And when you give it sentences with a mask token, it will try its best to, 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 to tell you what the most likely token is. And we use that to just generate a list of candidate words for a given query. And for example, for the same query about alternative energy, it generates a list of words that we send to the, to the index. And that turns out to perform just as well, even when we discard the query. So things like diesel, oil, accident, all of which seem to be very well on point. Um, and as for the last slide, I'll now end the talk with a few considerations and takeaways, both things we discovered along the way and things we feel will be important to, 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 to focus on in the future. So first on a theoretical level, we, we see that these models with the amount of knowledge that is embedded in their weights by, by virtue of the huge corporate corpora that they've been trained on, understand the query well enough to be able to, per, to perform well even when that query is gone. Now on the experimental setup, so that's more of a future direction that we'd like to, um, to experiment with is now that we know that this part of the pipeline is well performant, what would happen if we were to add argumentation awareness to the pipeline? So uh, the, the kind of data sets that Yufang uh, uh, introduced as part of the project debater pro, uh, data, data collection. So we, we, we would also like to explore other architectures because BERT isn't the only transformer uh, encoder and GPT-2 certainly isn't the, the only uh, transformer decoder. So maybe you can think of other architectures, other pre-training tasks that, are, that lend themselves better to information retrieval tasks. And just in general, hyperparameter tuning to see whether or not we can just squeeze a bit of performance out of these models. Um, as for the last uh, point, the ethical considerations that we think such research topics are due, and it's the fact that even though this is still an experimental thing that we're doing, it would still be good to, even at this stage, to think of ways to modulate the results that we that, that we return with with like with, with with due consideration because these are controversial topics that we're dealing with and we do live in a climate where controversial topics seem to uh, well, create a chasm between people so we do think that we should take into account for example the biases of the that a user has so try to detect what sort of biases vis-a-vis -a, -vis a topic a user has and so if he thinks that um, pizzas are objectively abominable and that hamburgers are the way to go. So not just show him things about or her about hamburgers, but perhaps try to think of a, of a mindful way to present results in these kind of tasks. Uh, so that's it for me. Thank you for listening and I look forward to your questions.